we are drawn to the little anxiety expressed by two guinea fowl, but then to the noise created by a bunch of black-eyed bulbuls in really chirping and mobbing something. We see under the tree on a rock a python, a beautiful young python, Southern African python. Almost a meter long, quite a lovely little creature which seems more focused on the noise and activity of the birds than worried about our presence. So we're able to get very close. Beautiful animal this, just watching its tongue flicking out of its mouth searching for traces of odor particles carried on the air, which it then transmits back into its Jacobson's organ via the tips of its forked tongue, analyzes that information and so follows the scent. This close one sees the absolute meticulous and intricate detail of the scales, just watching how each scale is so perfectly manicured into the next, producing a remarkable and effective skin. The wider apart the fork of the tongue is, the more information the snake can receive with each fork tip going to a different lobe inside of its Jacobson's organ and brain. And it makes its way up and then into a little hole and a little cavity in the trunk of this tree. And the bulbuls quieten down and for us, just a lovely little interlude looking at one of the most beautiful snakes in Africa, the Southern African python. (laughs) 